Hello, this is Rainbow Rising. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this spectacular healing location, I want to share a channel message that I was getting. We are the prophecy of the future. I'm not entirely sure what it means, but I feel that there's some sort of transformation happening within certain people at this time and this is about to change everything elevate the vibration and bring the long awaited change that nobody could really pinpoint exactly when it's going to happen but it's happening it's about to happen now and some of us some people are part of this prophecy part of this transformation part of this unprecedented change and um, they might not even know it. I have two decks that I want to read from. This is the Rose Oracle by Rebecca Campbell and Crystal Unicorn Tarot by Pamela Chen. Already during the journey, the Rose Oracle po was popping up as healing the mother line. So I think maybe um, the feminine energy is rising at the moment and we are choosing ourselves. We are elevating, we are honoring ourselves to the point that it heals our families you might have noticed change in the behavior in the dynamic of your family just because of the energy work that you've been doing even without direct directly telling your family members about what you've been up to you can see the change We have the Holy Grail. Stop the endless searching inner quest. I see this card as you being the transformation, you being the prophecy. Different decision that you make from now, they transform the world bit by bit. Maybe you're no longer tolerating certain behaviors that you were putting up with because you didn't, you know, you value friendship and you didn't want to leave your friends behind. But it's the behavior, the pattern of behavior that you are saying no to. Come to me, Atla attracting like a rose. Yes, if you say no to uh, some lower behaviors like anger and jealousy, and you dare to walk away from it, you will see the shift, you will notice the change, you will attract completely different people just because you dare to walk by yourself and choose yourself. Come to me. Attracting like a rose, receive abundance desires. We have the sacred union. I think the union is a different relationship to yourself and the world. Mm. Many people desire a union with another person and that's fine, but it's so important to first be in a good relationship with yourself. inner and outer relationships yes there's actually an inner relationship there is nothing I can do for you than to work on myself there's nothing more you can do for me than to work on yourself I think Ram Das said that it's very important 
to more and more cleanse within and build a better relationship within yourself that's honest i think that's what it is because oftentimes we want to be nice we want to be liked and we suppress our authentic emotions i think it's important to dare and tell the truth respectfully of course without uh, trying to hurt anyone but i think it's important to be authentic and if people um, don't take it maybe it's time to take a step back and be by yourself for, your, for a while and truth is sometimes stran stranger than fiction <laughs> again we have come to me okay someone might be calling you because i can see a bee so um there's a little bee there someone wants to be held someone wants to hold you <laughs> we have the same cards popping up now we have a deer in the holy grail there's something very sacred that's about to be found and i think it's a relationship with another person I think there's something within us that's being unlocked that's calling that union so it's like the union's been encoded within but maybe you, we couldn't find the key to it we couldn't find the key to the union that was already within us how weird the wild rose do it your way embrace your uniqueness and tame allow yourself to be you regardless do it your way be wild allow yourself to shine the way you want to shine and express your most authentic truth the sacred waters nourishment replenishment health rest and self-care so this is what's happening now for me i'm by the waters that i consider sacred and water is stands for emotions they heal emotions it's good to do some exercise of releasing old emotions old relationships uh, the burden emotional burden of our ex-partners again the holy grail it's like fourth time today there's this beautiful red flower that I think is blossoming and it's that unfolding that's happening from inside out. You might feel like a completely different person, like you inhabit a different house right now. Rapture, sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy and pleasure. The more you unleash yourself, the more authentic connections you attract these can be different kind of connections they don't necessarily need to mean what we right away think they don't need to mean uh, physical touch um, they this can be uh, connections that we never knew before because we are unlocking different levels within morning dew clarity a fresh start a positive outlook I think it might we might be feeling at this moment like we're brand new like we've been cleansed purified and we have we have been given another life morning dew you might really value the time in the morning you might really appreciate life then you might want to set intentions to thank life for what you have you have a fresh start and you know exactly what it is and if you don't know in your head you don't have the specific information you can feel it
Trust the season, embracing change, cycles of life, transition, growth. There's time for a completely different cycle. Cycle of trust, cycle of light, cycle of clarity from darkness to light. This is the cycle that I feel like all your ancestors have been working for you to begin. It's very touching because we stand on the shoulders of our ancestors and maybe they didn't have the opportunity for the transformation that we have right now. So really embrace it and appreciate the work that your ancestors have done, how they contributed for you to be where you are at the moment. Temple of the Rose, Ancient Power, Expression, Activation, Scarlet Codes. Scarlet is the blood of Jesus, some say. Ancient Power. There is connection with your ancient ones and the beauty of tapping into that wisdom that you can harness now and level up you can like modernize the ancient knowledge and apply it in daily life help other people to apply it you can even invent your own method of using the ancient wisdom how to weave it into our daily lives right now the reunion soul recognition collaboration, partnership, friendship. There is nothing else that you need to do apart from following your dream and you will literally stumble upon who you're supposed to stumble upon. I think this is how it's going to happen. No need to seek a specific person, just seek your truth and the rest will happen. We are nature. Become grounded, try grounding yourself daily, daily, because there's so much growth happening at the moment. You change so much. Maybe you are a different person every day because you shed so many layers in such a um, incredibly fast pace. Ground yourself. Honor your body is more important than you realize. Gentle exercise, breathe breathe <laughs> the breathing rose breath heals emotions connection time eases if you can allow yourself that stop being so very rigid about the time in your day allow yourself to flow with what you need more it's okay to cancel it's okay to change your plans because you you need something else that you then you expected at this time of the day honor yourself enough to change your plans to cancel to say to a friend excuse me can we meet another day because i need time for myself now for today we have growth and change it's like this the cycle of chasing has ended and it 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 brings very interesting opportunities into our lives Yeah.